guys, this is an important question, and those are two of the adaptations I don't want to see happen. What are some adaptations you guys don't want to see happen? And who would be directing that adaptation? Uh, directing oh, all Dean Bun, uh, Ryan Johnson would be some of the worst oh, shit. Oh, that would be that would be an atomic bomb to the m- movie industry. Let's let's not do that. <laughs> well, it's anything to me that will require um, too much CGI and the physics evolved with it. So, like something like Mob Psycho, where telekinesis is involved. If you notice, like telekinesis in movies and films, like live action, sucks. They never do it right. Because well, well, they, don't really, they can't have the budget. You're cu- Stormcrow, I'm talking here, and you're cutting me off. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they don't really get like the speed of the objects, even with um stuff like Star Wars. Um, the force is basically telekinetic, but they don't like launch objects with the speed um, that you could technically launch objects with like the physics and the forces involved with you can't capture that on camera as well as you can with animation so a mob psycho animation great a live action would not work it costs too much they don't know how to transfer the the physics involved between animation and live action and it just looked dumb yeah However, I yeah. did enjoy the take on telekinesis I saw in the movie push have you guys seen that yeah, that was actually good because it branches off between telekinesis, telepathic, clairvoyancy, like all the psychic kind of um, powers yeah. that are right there. And then those bleeders were something else. Holy crap. The screaming Whoa. one, like make your eyes, ears yeah. bleed out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, their yeah, eyes kind of like forever. Their I was hoping like they do slit this. while they do it. I thought it would be a franchise. I thought that uh, I did too. the whole thing had a potential to branch out and do more, but it didn't have the success behind it. Like, I liked it. Chris That's Evans too bad, because that, that was like... I've right never heard Kobe of this. Enough. Chris Evans, Dakota Fanning. Um, who else is it? Oh, that They're was Chris about. Evans? I didn't even yeah, realize Chris that. Evans. Yeah, no, it was Chris Evans before he was Captain America. He's a oh. telekinetic pusher. Yeah. Um, who who, weird, who am I getting like, a video from? from? The what? The echo. Echo. I don't remember that part. Echo. <laughs> well, no, I was hearing an from, echo. It, it oh, yeah. Actually, actually oh, I think sorry. it was. I thought you were talking about the movie. It's coming from Trippy, actually. It is. That's why I keep muting myself. Yeah, Fucking Steam, um, Thank you. Steam Yard or updated their stuff here. Now I'll get an echo, so I got to keep muting myself. Well, you guys ever seen the movie Chronicle? Yes. Again, yes, that's yes. my point. Yes, it doesn't capture the forces involved. It's not fast enough. It you don't feel the physics behind it. No, but I felt the angst, and that was the important part. The angst, dude. That fucking director. Um, he's got some issues, from what I hear. There was another movie that he was trying to direct, and he just like would not show up to scene to uh, like days. He he come up to shoot the. Sh- scene or shoot the movie and the next day all drunk like he's got some bad problems yeah but not bad enough because i was promised to see the guy tear his dad like a spider in the movie but he just threw him off the building and i was not satisfied with that so there's that yeah i get it comes down to budget you know they don't have the budget to show this thing in the way it should be shown Oh, it, that was an easy fix. Just be like, you know, as he's floating up in the air, he has his dad hold up. Like, he does it, but we don't see it. We just see the aftermath. You know what I'm saying? There, budget budget saved. Well, I think that's why I was shot in that um, found footage type style. You know, handy cam. Just because it's low budget and you're able to uh, get away with a few tricks here and there. But again, when I saw it, I was like, ah. I love everything about telekinesis, but I hate how it's portrayed in live action. Yeah, when when somebody like lifts an object and hurls it with their telekinesis, it should take off more often than not like a freaking bullet. Yeah, you can't, you won't be able to see the object, but the yeah. animators, it feels like the directing yeah. wants to be able to see the object in frame. I, it can, I don't can, care, but you don't need to have it nice and clear. It can move like a blur. Blur. I mean, like yes. I think I saw in one of the Marvel movies, like Hulk kicked the car. And it went flipping end over end, and it was moving fast. And it just, you know, in in you the speed, the impact they portrayed, 
telekinesis, telekinetically moved objects should be moving like that. They yes. can do it with a big car. Why can't they do it with a small object flying around? Granted, yes, a smaller object is tough to see, but if you have it, like, you make sure it can be seen, even if it's kind of blurry, just from it'll work because of the high speed. But you can you can have it slow enough to convey it where the audience can can, can tell it's there and kind of you, you, contemplate the impact. I'm running out of words. I'm stammering now. Sorry, guys. You know, it's funny. Literally, the only show I've seen that does what you guys are talking about with telekinesis is freaking Elfin League. That's only the cool. It's not even telekinesis, though. Hey, close enough, dude. You gotta take no, not even movie. close enough. Not even dare close enough. However, yeah. Yeah, let's let us uh, let me clarify. When I say taking off like a bullet, that should be like during attacks. I mean, sometimes yeah. some telekinesis might be holding something aloft for a few minutes for some purpose, but not everything's going to have to repel and take off like a uh, real yeah, but, yeah, but Avatar. Avatar The Last Airbender, that animation did the masterclass show of telekinesis, but it put it with the elements. So the material mm -hmm. that you're moving showed like how well the the final fight between lord or uh ozai and uh ang when he uh went to the avastar state there's that one part where he takes the whole mass of rock and you see this giant boulder or this rock like get smaller he shrinks it down and it's basically tell you he just made it more dense and then he shoots off bit by bit of it like and the impact that you see on the like ground behind it, Gatling it's gun. ruining fucking a canyon. Like these giant pillars of rocks yeah. from a little boulder going, a little pebble going through so much speed. Boom. Taking I left so hard every time the Avatar boulder was on right. screen.